Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a free online server for Minecraft that uh, doesn't require Hamachi and that you and your friends can play uh, over the internet. You don't have to be on the same uh, actual connection, so it's not an LAN uh, server. And you don't need a premium account to join it, which is really nice. Now, uh, first things first, go down and download customserver.zip in the description. So once you do that, come back to your desktop, then right click and make a new folder named server. Okay, so now we're going to extract the contents of customserver.zip into server. So just go down to desktop, customserver.zip, extract all, and we're going to choose server. Alright, there we go. So when that's done, you should open it up and have four files. Now, uh, these files, this craftbucket.jar is the server itself. It's version 1.2.5, the newest thing out there. And uh, these are starter batch files that basically tell the computer how to run this jar file because it's not a standard executable. So we're going to need to know whether you have Java 7 and whether you have a 32 or 64 bit operating system. So this is not hard. All you have to do, head down, click the little Windows thing, right click on Computer, and then Properties. So right now you can see that I have a 64 bit operating system. So check if you have 32 or 64. And then odds are you have Java 6. So if these don't work, then just use the Java 7 one. So right now I'm going to double click the 64 run file. So you can close out of my computer. This is starting our server. So it's going to take a little while the first time because it has to generate a, a new Minecraft world. And now it's preparing the spawn area, doing everything. And then if you look in your server file, you should have a lot more, uh, a lot, many more files than you started with. And these are generated by the program right now. So as that's loading, it's creating your new world. Go into your uh, server folder. Head on down to Server Properties, and then click Open. And mine's mine opened with Notepad++. That's just a program that I have. You don't yours are probably open in the regular Notepad editor. In fact, I'll just open it just to show that it's the same. Oh, well, never mind, it's not listening here. Okay. Notepad, there we go. So this is what should pop up on your screen. Just right-click, open with, other programs, Notepad. So uh, as you can see, there's a lot of options. They look kind of scary. Probably don't know what to do. It's all right, I'm going to show you. So right now, allow nether. That's pretty self-explanatory, true or false. Level name, world. So... Uh, Right now, this server was doing a bunch of stuff. It was generating a Minecraft world, and its name is World. So the server will start using the world named World that's in the server folder. So if you saved a world or want to import a world, I'll do a video on that, and you just have to name it whatever you want, and then name it here too, and it'll load up in your server. So that's nice. Um, this is all. You can leave all of this, then go and leave the server IP blank for now. NPCs, non-player characters, blah blah blah, spawning animals, online mode. All right, so right now we have to turn this to false. That's mainly what we got to do, and then save. Oh, that's great. Okay, so after you have that saved, go into your server and type reload should say reload complete in green and now your server is officially up and running but we don't know how to connect to it yet so go down to windows type cmd a little prompt should come up and ip config no space so ip c o n f i g now a bunch of scary stuff comes up and you just need to find scroll around till you find ip4 ipv4 address and that's for me 192.168.127 so just write that down or something. And now go ahead.
open Minecraft. All right. Looks like someone's trying. What the hell? Someone's connected to my server. All right. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, go to multiplayer, and then add server. Just name it whatever, Minecraft server, and type whatever you wrote down earlier. So for me, it's 192.168.127. Done. And Minecraft server, look at that. And someone is in it. What the hell? Whatever, just join the server. Say whatever your username is, join the game, and there you go. You're free to play. And would you look at that? So this, this is interesting. I don't know how my friend got in here. Anyway, ouch, ouch. I'm getting out of here. So that's how you make a, a server. So right now, it's only playable if you're all connected to the same internet, which is a little annoying. So I'll show you in the next video, part two. Just click on the pop-up now and uh, show you how to run a server via... Um, well, online, so you can play while you're not connected to the same internet, which is the true online mode. So uh, check in for that next. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.